stop until they go over the top. There's Rowdy's Unbelievable Burgers, our new smoky bacon burger, mushroom Swiss, or bacon cheddar crisp. Unbelievable tastes were just a buck. That's feasted. Rowdy's Feast Dog. Two out of the last three times the Lady Vols have played in Lexington, Kentucky has won. This one just feels different. Mickey DeMoss is returning to Kentucky back on the Tennessee bench. Two of Matthew Mitchell's assistants starred at Tennessee. And of course, there's that little matter of Kentucky at number two trying to gain ground on number one, looking for an SEC title. Matthew Mitchell and his mentor, Pat Summit. He was a GA, remember, at Tennessee. So many connections in this one. But all game long, it was Victoria Dunlap connecting. And that's just down low. Look at her step back. Three buckets. Cats up 7-4. Then Brittany Henderson, the big offensive rebound. Early she played so well in the last game. Trying to continue that. The kids lead girls to five. Then off the steal. Dunlap. Ahead to Jennifer O'Neill. The crowd is rocking. A welcome back from Mickey DeMoss. The former UK coach talking to things over with the refs. Adia Mathis, she has done a great job taking over the point guard position. She drives, makes a beautiful dime. The Dunlap, Victoria had 16 first half points, almost more impressive. UK forced the balls into 15 turnovers in the first half. Steal from Mathis, she goes all the way. Kentucky had a three point lead at the break. Second half, more Mathis, the drive and the foul that cut into the Tennessee lead. Now to just two points, the ball go back on top by seven. That's trying to come back. Now down four, Mathis drains a three. She had 18 points on the night. Balls go back on top, and the Cats just run out of time. 25 picks left, Henderson the easy land. Four point lead. The Vols hit their free throws though. Kentucky falls just short in this one, losing at home to Tennessee, 73-67. The guys will try to hand Tennessee a loss tomorrow night with Bruce Pearl back on the bench, doing it at rough. There was one word Coach Cal repeated over and over again to the media today: crisis. Losers of two straight and four games in the SEC. Cal is ready to say it's a crisis. He says he still likes his team and still thinks they're a tough out. But some things have to change. He said he was mean to his team after the game, and it started as soon as they took off in Gainesville, where the friendly skies weren't so friendly. I'm looking at that tape right after the game on the plane, and I'm seeing the same things I saw against Mississippi and Alabama. It was calling guys to the front of the plane. Whoever was on the plane will tell you. They thought the plane was decompressing. We were going to go back. I'm not lying. The pilot came out and said, did he? So we got to turn the plane around. I said, it's only me. I'm fine. <laughs> We're fine. Just go to Lexington. We're okay. No surprise, the Cats aren't in the top ten anymore, or even on the cusp of it. Ohio State still the only unbeaten team left of 